in the package tracer we will configure dynamic NAT on the first part we will configure dynamic NAT and the second part we will verify NAT implementation and this is our topology a router one has two LANs and router one connect to router two and from router two connect to the internet and this is the internet server so NAT will be config on router 2 now on part 1 firstly we will configure traffic that will be permitted for this network so we will create an ACL a standard ACL actually ID and then we permit 172.16.0.0 with the Y card and next we will config a NAT pool on router 2 we will config uh, a NAT pool that you two addresses in this network But, so, uh, in the network there are only two IP address because the slash is 30 but there are three PCs uh, on the LAN network so if more than two devices attempt to access the internet so only the first two devices can access to the internet. The remain device cannot access to the internet because there's not enough IP address on the pool for all the devices. Now on router 2, we will create a pool, IP not pool and the name NAT pool and the start IP address and the last IP mask oh sorry mask oh, net mask a oh, net mask should be at least I'm oh, sorry okay on step 3 we will associate ACL 1 with the NAT pool that uh, we have just created IP NAT inside source list 1 it's a ACL one uh, pool. The pool name not pool. Uh, not pool. Okay. And on step four, we will configure the not interface. And here, on router two, the this is the outside. NAT interface, the serial 000. The N, the serial 001 is the inside. So, interface as 001, IP NAT inside, 
and I be not outside. And on part two, we will verify that implementation. Firstly, we will access services across the internet by browsing from the local PC to the web uh, page on server one. So I open it, uh, the laptop one, and enter the IP address. Okay, on the PC one only, we test only one PC. So that it. And then we will view the NAT translation on router 2 to show IP NAT translation. And here, TCP from inside local the private IP translate to the outside the inside global the first uh, IP of the pool and then the IP address uh, PC1 and the, the, the second IP address on the pool and here the outside global the IP address of, of the server those are the own for this activity thanks for watching